In this video, we're going to look at how I lost 40 kgs or 88 pounds in less than a year. Hey there, it has been over a year since I last posted a video on this channel and boy do I look different. Dealing with weight loss issues can be a struggle, especially in the Christian arena. It's not something that believers speak a lot about, but today I'm going to be real with you and share my journey of how I lost so much weight in a short space of time. As I looked at my life and saw the videos that I've put out, I felt like a fraud. My body didn't represent Christ in a way that gives him honor and glory. And I knew I had to address this and I had to address it before coming back onto YouTube. And that's why I want to be real with you and share my journey with you in the hope that it can help someone out who was in the same situation as me. You know, the Bible actually has a lot to say about the body and godliness. In 1 Timothy 4 verse 8, it actually talks about Paul telling us that bodily training has some value, even though godliness has a greater value. So it's not putting down the body, but it's actually saying there is some value in exercising your body, but there's even a greater value in godliness. And in Corinthians, we see more about the body and godliness, where Paul talks about disciplining his body and keeping it under control because not doing so can lead to being disqualified even after preaching. And I didn't want that for myself. I didn't want to be disqualified because I didn't look after my body. And yes, you could argue that the context is about sexual immorality, but it is generally about the way that we handle our bodies, whether it glorifies God or not. So with conviction in my heart and fire in my bones, I started off on my weight loss journey. As 1 Corinthians 6, Verse 19 to 20 says, Our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, and as such, we should live to glorify God in and through our bodies. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. This is where the journey started, right here at the muscle bar. When I came here, I knew that I had to change my life. I knew I had to make a plan. So I actually joined in the middle of the month, in the middle of October 2022, I joined the gym and it was in the middle of the month I didn't mind having to pay extra to be there for the full month but when I was convicted that I needed to make that lifestyle change I went ahead and did it anyway. I took it slow at first getting into the paces because the years of abusing your body we tend to feel like we can correct it in five gym sessions but unfortunately I had a realistic understanding of that this journey was going to be a bit of a long one so I took it in its stride one day at a time, one workout at a time, one movement at a time. And my encouragement to you is to find something that you enjoy doing. It doesn't have to be the same thing that I'm doing, but it's something that you can do, that you enjoy, that you can be consistent with, and that you can do because you love it. Now let's talk about diet, or I mean nutrition. Nutrition is a critical aspect in my weight loss journey. But I didn't start there immediately. I actually worked out for a couple of months first to get my body used to exercise before I changed my nutrition. Because I knew this was a long journey, I had to pace myself. And I knew that too many changes at once would shock the system and lead me to a higher risk of failing on my mission. So I gave myself a couple of months to adjust to exercise, to get used to it, and actually waited till after Christmas. Then after Christmas in the new year, I began my nutritional journey. And the reason I say nutrition instead of diet is because there are lots of diets out there and lots of ways of eating out there that can lead you to lose weight fast. But is it good for your nutrition? Is it sustainable? And is it healthy? So in a nutshell, what separates all these diets that seem to work and might not work is getting adequate nutrition to your body. So again, I chose an eating plan that would give me the desirable results that would be sustainable in the long term and that I enjoyed doing. Because sustainability is key, my friend. If you don't plan for sustainability, then you're setting yourself up to fail. Now, of course, the road wasn't smooth for me. I had to deal with the fear of failure. This is not the first time I've started on a weight loss journey. And in fact, I failed several times before. But I knew that this time it was different. It was different because I had a conviction 
in my heart from the Lord. And I knew that this is something that he was calling me to do. So I knew that he would give me the strength to do it. So my sisters and brothers, the same applies to you. That as we go through this journey to glorify God in our bodies, that God will give you the strength. He will give you the courage. He will help you to overcome the fear because it's something that he delights that you do. With God's strength, I was able to face these fears and challenges head on, knowing that he was the one that was strengthening me. I also had support from my Christian community, the people at church and my family, as well as those, my accountability partners in the gym and in other places. And it takes a village. You can't do this on your own. Make sure that you have people surrounding you and encouraging you and helping you build you up in the goals that you have to get a better body. Let me leave you with four key takeaways that help me in my journey and hopefully will help you in yours. First and foremost, know your reason why. Why do you want to go into this journey? Why do you want to lose weight? Make sure that it's a strong and a compelling reason, whether it's family wanting to be there for your kids, or maybe you got some bad news from the doctor and you need to change your lifestyle. Make sure whatever that why is, is a strong why. And it's better actually if you have more than one why. And I had a couple of them. So make sure that you figure out your why and you stick to it because that is what will keep you going when things get hard. Next, make gradual and consistent changes. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will the body that you want. You need to take time and take step by step, planning ahead, understanding that you won't be able to get your results quickly, but if you are consistent, eventually you'll get them. Thirdly, think about sustainability in every aspect. If you're taking an eating plan, is it sustainable to do long term? We're not just talking about a quick diet for six weeks, 12 weeks, we're talking about a lifestyle change that has to last forever. I started on the keto diet, and for me that was very sustainable because it was simple, but it's something that I could do with the resources that I had. So think about sustainability in your workouts as well. Are you doing crazy runs, trying to run 21 kilometers every second day? There's sustainability is critical for your success. And finally, enjoy the journey. It is a journey. It is a marathon, not a sprint. And it's gonna have lots of highs and lows. But if you think of it as a journey, then you won't feel the urgency to take shortcuts, to do the things that are unsustainable because you know that this is a way of life. It's your new lifestyle. It is the new you. You become the person that you want to be before you look like the person that you want to be. So make sure that you enjoy the journey and enjoy the ride. My own transformation inspired me to share my story, not just to inspire those struggling with weight loss, but to encourage everyone to lean on God when they're going through doubts, trials, and feeling weak. I'll be sharing more of my story where I'll be deep diving into the weight loss journey. So if you're interested, please make sure that you click there and subscribe. I want to create a supportive community where we can uplift one another, pray together, and embark on a faith-based wellness journey together. Today I stand as a living testament to the power of faith, determination, and strength that we can draw from our relationship with God. If I can achieve it, you can achieve it too. So if you believe that, please type in the comments in Christ alone so that we can support each other through the struggles that we go through. I hope that this story resonated with you and provided some inspiration. If you have any questions or would like to share your journey, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting content like this. Stay blessed and until next time, Remember that we're fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of our Creator.